these layout themes are going to be a big challenge. Hey y'all, I'm Elisa, the Scrappy Wife behind ScrappyWife.com, and these planner themes might be a little bit of a challenge for me, but we're going to see how it goes. So I'm working on three custom planner spreads today. First up, we have Barb, who let me choose my own theme, but I wanted to get outside my comfort zone. We're going to go back. We're going to do a jungle theme, which I haven't done in who knows how long. I have a couple of books picked out right here. We have Jewel Tone Jungle and then Jungle Vibes, which was one of my favorite books back in the day. Um, loved, loved, loved this book. So we're going to play with that theme on Barb's big vertical spread. And then we have this one is going to be Herself the Elf. Have you ever heard of this book? I had not heard of it. Here is a look at some illustrations from the book. We're going to use this and kind of create a fun fairy theme spread. And then for sweet Nikki, she wants to do a Hello Kitty spread for her niece's birthday, which I think will turn out super cute. So I've got these pulled out as well. I am really excited. I'm a little nervous about these, so we'll see how it goes. As always, I will link everything that I use down in the description box below. Otherwise, let's go. All right, so Barb uses a big size vertical layout, and I wanted to use a sticker book that I had not used in a while. She gave me the option to do um, a spread that I wanted to pick my own theme, and so I kind of went through some of my Happy Planner sticker books, and I picked these because I loved these books when they first came out, but I haven't gotten a chance to use them probably as much as I would love like to. And I think they're so bold and so different. And I kind of miss when Happy Planner used to do these really kind of, uh, I don't know, unusual sticker books that you didn't find everywhere. Now I feel like we're getting a lot of repeated images at times. I love when they do collaborations. I love when they do um, more interesting things. And I think this one, uh, these couple of sticker books were definitely some of those. I especially wanted to use these really big leopard stickers. This is a big size spread, so I'm able to take advantage of all of the space on the spread um, to use some of the larger stickers. They can be a challenge. You can use them in smaller spreads. It's certainly possible, but in a big spread, you have tons of room with tons of stickers, which I think is one of the reasons that people love these big planners. A, they probably have a lot of things to write down, or B, they just love using all of the stickers. Once again, I am using my sticker guides to kind of plan out where I want these stickers to go. These sticker guides are only sized for a classic size happy planner. So I'm just having to make do um, and it's just helping me pick out some of the stickers to get started. As soon as I started picking out stickers, I really started to hone in on the color scheme I wanted to do. The Jungle Vibes sticker book has a million colors in it. It is like a rainbow sticker book. And I didn't necessarily want to pull in all of those colors to the spread. So I stuck with the pinks, the reds, the brown kind of golden color, and then some dark greens. And I think it is a very interesting combination. And again, I was going for a little bit unusual, a little bit unexpected. I also just have to say that one of my favorite looks is a classic decorative box. For instance, the one that says enjoy your life or the one that says be you and stay you. I love the look of those in the middle of a big size box so that you have that white border. I just think it looks pretty darn cool. Um, and so I spread those out and then around each box, I tried to include some decorative stickers. I wanted to have the animals. I wanted to bring in um, more than just the leopards. And I was also trying to keep tabs on where I would have bullet points, which is what you see me working on now. These are headers that I'm pulling from the Jungle Vibes sticker book. Um, and those are helping me plan the colors of the bullet points. This is really key. 
using the bullet point colors to kind of move the different uh, colors around the page. I needed to balance out red from left to right. I needed to make sure there were pink in different spots. I was bringing that dark green in. Um, and just through those little bits of color that come through the bullet points in these headers, I really think it helped um, balance out the page color-wise. Um, and once I had done that, it made it a lot easier to choose what boxes I would put where. Now, as I am placing the boxes, there are repeated animal pictures on these boxes. For instance, the uh, lion or the tiger that's roaring is in a couple places. I just wanted to make sure they weren't right next to each other. I was moving the animals around the page. I kind of wish I had um, another one of the elephants because I have that one over on the right side of the spread and I would have liked to have balanced it out on the left side, but I think it's balanced out color-wise. I just would have liked another elephant on the spread. So I'm working the animals around the page, I'm working the colors around the page, I'm making sure the page is as filled as possible with boxes, places for Barb to write, to keep organized. I think I'm pretty good on that. Once that was in place, I wanted to go back and really look at how I can add some more detail. And I could do that with some of the leopard print that you see me adding in the different colors, some of the smaller stickers. I feel like that is something that we often miss on our planner spreads. If you're like me, you're throwing down stickers, trying to get them down on the page so you can go ahead and start your actual planning. But what I think really elevates a spread are these tiny details, these um, little diamond marks, the, um, the just tinier stickers around the page that break up some of the boxiness and add just an interesting look to the page. So as you are finishing up a custom, or sorry, a planner spread, Take a look through the sticker book that you've chosen to use. Look for some of those smaller stickers that you can add on just to give it a little bit of an elevated look. I also worked very hard on all three spreads today to make sure that they had some words on them. I think that's another great way. Quote stickers are a fabulous way to finish off a spread. So I added some positive words. You are beautiful. Be excited about life and amazing weekends. That is going to be it for Barb's Jungle Vibes Planner Spread. Let me know what you think. I actually am kind of in love with how this one came together. It has re-inspired me to use these sticker books in my own planner, and I can't wait to give it a try. Next up is Nikki's spread. She uses the classic vertical layout, and in honor of her niece's birthday, she requested a Hello Kitty theme which brought me back to all the feels. I used to love Hello Kitty. We used to have a Hello Kitty store in the mall where I was growing up. Uh, such a fun theme. I did not have any Hello Kitty stickers. So what I decided to do was go online. Um, I tend to Google free images. So I'll look up Hello Kitty free and I downloaded a few images and then I used my Cricut to make some stickers and I opted to go with larger impact images. So you'll see that these stickers end up being um, larger than probably the typical ones that I would use. I used scrapbook paper in the background that is from Vicki Booten's Sweet Rush collection because I thought it would be fun. Um, this is a birthday spread, but really there's only one section that's going to say happy birthday. Everything else is just going to be bright, celebratory, joyful. It's not going to be blatantly birthday, um, but still a lot of fun for Nikki to use the week of her niece's birthday. I personally love using my Cricut to make some of these larger stickers that make such a huge impact on the page. You can see that even if I hadn't added a bunch of other decor, just having these bigger stickers definitely sets the tone for the page. You get the impression of what the page is all about. Um, and I love, I love how you can just customize it to your own um, preferences. So even if you were using a bigger size spread and you wanted an even larger sticker, that would work out uh, just as well. Now I'm pulling some ephemera from that same Sweet Rush line from Vicki Booten just because I like that it coordinates. I think the colors are perfect. I have a little memory piece over here, a little journaling card that says a story to tell. I thought that would be a nice place for Nikki to get to write um, some sweet things about her niece. And we're just going all out on all of the decor, having a lot of fun. I promise this will end up being a functional spread. That is a comment that I get all of the time when people see creative planning or decorative planning. Um, they tend to comment, oh, I do think this is pretty, but how are you even supposed to use this as a planner? Well, you can, I promise you can make all kinds of lists. Um, and the boxes that I'm going to use on this spread, I'm actually going to use black 
boxes. I'll space them around the spread, but if for some reason Nikki needs more space to write, I always say it, you take black boxes or whatever functional boxes you like and layer them over the decorative pieces. You're still going to get the impression of the decorative pieces on your spread, but you're going to have lots and lots of room to write. I love that big clip of post-it notes up at the top. We're going to add one more little Hello Kitty moment right there. I actually had another Hello Kitty sticker uh, picked out as well or created as well, but I decided the spread really didn't need them because of how large I had made these stickers. Uh, the black brings in a nice contrast. I could have gone for color as well, but it just didn't feel quite so fitting. I needed a really small box for up here. So what I did was cut a box down. I cut it in half and then I layered the two halves on top of each other and ta-da, custom sized box that my little Hello Kitty um, is working with up there. I'm trying to keep in mind where I'm going to have bullet points. Will every single day have a list or bullet point? No, but a lot of them do. And I think it's going to be plenty of room for Nikki to write what needs to be done during the week. Plus, she has that left-hand sidebar if she needs to write some extra tasks, maybe some birthday tasks, things like that. Uh, she can keep track over there as well. Got the bullet points on the page. Again, I wanted to focus on making sure that I had some words. So I loved the phrase, you are a limited edition. That felt perfect. You got this. It's all smiles. Uh, appreciating all the moments. Just love all of these little phrases on a planner spread because I think they are fun and inspiring. All right, once those get into place, the last little thing I have to do is, of course, a very important part. Adding the days of the week is pretty darn vital to putting together a planner spread. So this is Mojo Jojo's Date It sticker book. This is uh, from last year. This is not the most current one. Um, I really liked the one before this, the original. So I'm going to use that to add the days of the week. And that's going to be it for Nikki's Hello Kitty spread. I kind of love it. I kind of dig this spread so much. I would use it in my planner um, with or without a niece's birthday involved because I think it's so, so cute. Last up today is a spread for Sweet Danielle, and she asked for herself the elf themed spread. I had never heard of herself the elf. If you have, please let me know down below. Um, so I had to look up some pictures. And as I was looking up for images and pictures, I couldn't find any individual images of some of the characters from this cartoon. So all I had were these big images like you see right here. And I was struggling with how to include these, how to have them on the spread, how to make it make sense, because I also know that Danielle wants plenty of writing room on her spread. So she needed the checklist, she needed boxes, she needed um, those pieces. And so sometimes it's a struggle when you're wanting to do a very specific spread. It can be a struggle to find stickers that are themed in that spread. Um, and it can be a struggle to still make sure it's functional. Here was my solution. I went with some Maggie Holmes paper because it had a light spring-like look, a little bit of cartoon look. I thought it um, felt like a storybook to me. So I'm including that. I put the boxes on just like you can see right here. And then I'm going to cover up this box set over here. I'm using washi tape. I'm making a hinge with the washi tape. So you can see I'm putting it over there on the right side, two pieces of washi tape. You open it up, you reinforce it with washi tape right there. And now this has become kind of a bonus little section for Danielle's spread. What could she put in that section? She could write some of her favorite memories of herself, the elf. In all honesty, when you choose a theme that's really specific like this, it's probably for a reason. It probably makes you smile, which I think is maybe one of the best reasons to pick something for your planner to bring you a little extra joy, um, which we can all use. So I'm hoping that Danielle um, can use this section over on the right hand side with the flip up with the tip in um, to do maybe a little journaling, a little gratitude journaling, a little uh, creative journaling moment in her planner. And it's a fun theme that can really bring a smile to her face, which is really one of the points of doing creative journaling in the first place. Now, I only had those two images of herself, the elf. So I had to decorate the rest of the spread in a different way. I chose the essential quotes sticker book because I kind of knew I wanted to go 
with pastels throughout the rest of the spread. We're gonna do kind of a pastel rainbow look. I didn't want to add extra florals or extra images that would compete with the herself, the elf images. Those are the main ones. So we're just gonna bring in quotes. Love this one. It says, make big plans. I just wanna bring in a little white out. I wish I had white out that wasn't quite so white. Um, but I still think it looks okay. I have some pieces that I cut out from the spare scrapbook paper uh, that kind of, I, to me, they just look like books. Like they look like flashcards. This feels like a storybook, almost a golden book moment here uh, for this spread. So I liked those uh, pieces that said B for bloom, D for dream. I'm going to cut out a couple more. L for love, J for joy. I think those are great ones to include on the page as well. Like I said, I wanted to go with pastels. I'm using Mojo Jojo's pastels sticker book, both the check it off version and later on you'll see me pull out the pastel boxes version. Um, I'm going to use those. We're going to do a checklist on each day. So we're maximizing our functionality. You can see that the checklist overhang ever so slightly. I am going to uh, work with that by adding in a little bit of grid washi tape. Before I do that, you can see I'm going to go ahead and get these little flashcard moments down on the page. The grid washi tape. I love black grid washi tape because you it's just so light on the page. It's not going to be really distracting. So I'm going to take some black grid washi because I didn't want it to feel too boxy. What I opted to do was tear the washi tape. It has a nice torn look. It's just a little bit more natural looking at the bottom. I'm tearing the washi tape, covering up this little excess section right here going to cut off the end. And I think, um, I think it's a nice way to divide up those two sections. Yes, I could have cut down these checklists. They're just a little bit longer uh, than the boxes that I chose to use. So I could have done that as well. But I think the washi tape serves kind of same purpose to break up that line looking good. Now I just need to fill in some functional boxes. Like I said, we're going to go a little bit with a rainbow look, keeping the boxes in the same color scheme as the checklist that is below them. So we'll do some boxes on the top row, some on the bottom row, just to change it up. Again, if Danielle ends up needing more functionality, first of all, there's a ton of room to write on this, especially with the tip in, but you can always add more boxes, layer them on some of those flashcards just to give yourself uh, more room to write. Once the boxes are in place, I'll take the opportunity to add a few more little inspirational words and quotes. I chose one that says, good things will happen. Choose kind over cool. And today looks bright. And I actually end up really loving how this one comes together. This one was a challenge. When it's a theme that I'm unfamiliar with, that can be a big challenge, but you can always bring it in. There's always a way to customize your planner spread. And so I do really much or I do very much enjoy these challenges of all of these custom spreads. All right, so let me know down in the comments below which spread did you like the most today? Did you enjoy, enjoy Barb's jungle spread, Nikki's Hello Kitty spread, or Danielle's Herself the Elf spread? Let me know down in the comments. As always, I will link the things that I used in the description box below so you can be sure to check those out. I want to give a huge shout out to all of my Patreon community. If you are looking for a fun, crafty community that is there to support you and inspire you, if you're looking for some fun extra content and challenges, Patreon is the place to be and we'd love to have you over there. You can find out more information using the link below. All right. I hope that you have a fabulous day and as always, keep it creative.